A PhD's secret weapon, the four biomarkers every expert should but doesn't analyze. These are the most useful tests and are the ones that no one ever orders. This video and podcast is available for free for 48 hours. After that, it is available only to MasterPass members. So check out the description for how to access it for all time. Everyone in the health space says that they want to get to the root cause. Then they order lab tests that barely scratch the surface. Everyone in the health space says they want to support mitochondrial function, but they ignore the main fuels of the mitochondria when running labs. Measuring the markers discussed in this video, podcast, and article, depending on which one you want to consume this content as, can help uncover whether you are taking too many supplements, overdosing on the wrong one, or the wrong ones, eating the wrong diet, or whether you're succeeding or failing at addressing your own idiosyncratic bottlenecks in energy metabolism that limit your wellness, your performance, and your longevity. Everyone in the health space wants to optimize blood glucose, but no one is putting glucose into context. No one is looking at what the glucose is turned into, And no one is looking at what it is competing with as a fuel. And when people do look at the other fuels, they do so with false assumptions. For example, lactate is for exercise. Ketones are for keto diets. Wrong and wrong. And the poor victim that always gets ignored is the redox status of these molecules, which may sound like a super nerdy concept, but is actually the single most important thing you can understand if you want to get to the heart of why your mitochondria are not performing at their best. I have a client whose practitioner put her on keto and high dose thiamine to solve dysautonomia, which probably isn't even dysautonomia, to be honest, which made her five times worse and bedridden. Head anyone ever tested whether thiamine raised or lowered her lactate, this never would have happened. And yet, if anyone looked at the ratio of lactate to pyruvate and the ratio of the two major ketone bodies, beta-hydroxybutyrate and acetoacetate, one could quickly determine whether the most important mitochondrial fix for any given person would be thiamine, B6, or biotin on the one hand, or riboflavin, CoQ10, or copper on the other. And the craziest thing is that sometimes these nutrients are needed in isolated megadoses. So not CoQ10, copper, and riboflavin, but CoQ10 or copper or riboflavin to address an otherwise extremely difficult to find genetic idiosyncrasy in a manner where traditional measures of nutrient status, even the panels that I prefer as the most well-validated markers of nutritional status would never help you because... Everything's normal. All right, what follows is only available for free for the first 48 hours. After that, is it is only available to MasterPass members. So if you want to consume this content in an enduring manner, if you want to take notes, if you want to come back to it, or if you missed the 48-hour mark, check out the link in the description for how you can access the video, the podcast, as well as the full written article that is fully rever- referenced and links out to all the supporting information. What you're going to find in here is, what do these ratios tell you? What are the many causes of elevated lactate? What are the confounders that you need to look for, especially if you're measuring lactate at home and can't measure pyruvate? When to narrow in on nutrition-responsive idiosyncrasies of energy metabolism, the normal biochemistry and physiology of lactate, pyruvate, and ketones, the normal ranges in blood and urine, the stability of lactate, pyruvate, and ketones in blood and urine, very relevant to how to take care of your samples for a test and whether the tests are valid or not. And then the big one that you really want to understand, and in fact, if you just want the practical stuff, you're going to skip to this part, it's how to interpret the results. Potential uses of thiamine, riboflavin, B6, biotin, copper, CoQ10, low-fat diets, ketogenic diets, near-infrared, fasting feeding resets, methylene blue, PQQ, acetyl-L-carnitine, creatine, high-dose vitamin C, and MK4, and other things. And then at the end, we're going to put it all together into a practical unit, an algorithm of sorts.